Hello and welcome here. The cost of producing She-Hulk Attorney at Law is more than anticipated according to recent Marvel Cinematic Universe documents. Jennifer Walters, portrayed by Tatiana Maslany, was one of the new heroes to enter the MCU during Phase 4. Originally presented as Bruce Banner's cousin, she later had the same illness as the Hulk. She-Hulk Attorney at Law was a comedy series that marked a departure from other Marvel Cinematic Universe TV shows as it balanced its legal storylines while also having Jennifer break the fourth wall. She-Hulk Attorney at Law was one of the TV series that Marvel Studios had to deal with fallout from, since the public is now aware of some of the behind-the-scenes issues that hopefully won't go into the next parts of Phases 5 and 6. According to a recent news story, She-Hulk Attorney at Law episodes cost $25 million per. This indicates that Marvel Studios spent a total of $225 million on She-Hulk Season 1, considering there were nine episodes in the season. The next season of She-Hulk Attorney at Law has not yet been confirmed, and it is unknown when Jennifer Walters will make another appearance in the MCU. So how the budgets of She-Hulk and other Marvel TV series compare? Given She-Hulk Attorney at Law's rumored budget, one would wonder how it stacks up against other MCU TV series that have debuted in recent years. According to reports, Moon Knight Season 1, which introduced Oscar Isaac to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, cost Marvel Studios $147.9 million, or around $24.6 million for each episode. As with She-Hulk Attorney at Law, the fate of the Moon Knight cast remains uncertain as a second season has not yet been approved. It was reported earlier this year that Secret Invasion, which likewise elicited mixed opinions, had cost $212 million. Given that, at least in the early episodes leading up to the season finale, the MCU spy thriller Secret Invasion was more realistic than it was visually spectacular, the film's budget was startling. While the budgets for other series, like as The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, were $150 million, She-Hulk was said to have paid the same for WandaVision and Hawkeye. Even the second season of Loki, which starred Tom Hiddleston and supposedly had a $141 million budget, was less expensive than She-Hulk. It remains to be seen if future Marvel Studios TV episodes will be produced on a reduced budget, since the production company is currently reassessing how it produces series for the property. Even if the MCU audience's reaction to She-Hulk Attorney at Law season the 1st of May have been divided, new fans can always check out the show on Disney Plus and make their own judgment. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.